LiDAR plays a critical role in increasing the autonomy of advanced driver assistance systems. It is used to create accurate 3D maps of the vehicle's surrounding thanks to its great range, precision and the ability to work in any weather. Now with this map, we can detect and classify the objects in the scene in real time. Hey there, welcome to Learn Open CV. In this video, we will create a 3D map of the vehicle's surrounding using LiDAR data. We get our data from the 2D Kitty Depth Frames dataset. A LiDAR is used to measure distance between the sensor and the surroundings and produces images like this. Here is an animation of the LiDAR data. Brighter pixels are objects closer to the sensor and the image resolution is 1440 by 64. The dataset is a cylindrical format around the sensor itself. Now let's take this data and create its 3D map using Open3D. To follow along with me, open the Learn Open CV blog post link from the description, click on the download code banner, fill in your details and hit enter. You'll receive the starter code link on your email, download it and let's get started. First install the required libraries and import them. Then, download the Kitty LiDAR based 2D depth images dataset using this Dropbox link. The load depth image function takes input of the image file paths. It reads the LiDAR image, upscales it, and returns the normalized image. The next function, depth image to point cloud, takes input of the LiDAR image, the horizontal and vertical field of views of the camera, and the depth range. It calculates the horizontal and vertical angles in radians and then broadcasts it for further calculations. Using trigonometric operations, it calculates the x, y and z value of each point. If these values lie between a depth range of 0 and 100, they are saved. Finally, these points are stacked and returned for each frame. If these concepts are difficult for you to grasp, Check out OpenCV University's free Python bootcamp. Go to opencv.org slash university slash free courses to know more. The next function loads and processes the frames. It inputs the image directory which then loops through all the images in the directory and call both the previous functions. The function then returns point clouds as a list for the entire directory. Next, we used Open3D to visualize the point clouds. We initialize the Open3D visualizer and create a black background. Then, we initialize a 3D point cloud object and draw the first frame points for the initial display. The code then loops through the point clouds and updates the point clouds after the update interval. User interaction and render updates are done through poll events and update renderer. And once the loop is broken, the visualizer is destroyed. This is what the LiDAR data looks like. With this, we can clearly visualize the obstacle in the scene along with its step and shape. The points marked in red are closer to the sensor, while marked in blue are further away from the sensor. Sensors from different angles can be fused for better path planning and navigation all in all creating an enhanced environmental perception. So that's all about 3D visualization of LiDAR data. If you like this video, check out other videos in the ADAS playlist. Do comment on what you would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.